Hey there, viewers. Welcome back to the Self Made Auto Channel. Sitting inside the 2001, I think it is, Chevrolet. It's a 1500. It's got the big 5.3. And it's got the flashing security light. Of course, the key's off, so it's supposed to be flashing, but when it's key on and you're at the gas station and it won't start and it's flashing, it really tends to the person off a little bit so the guy's uh, had enough of that he's got the classic you know pass key sensor failure in these shivvies uh, or at least that they you know that we've experienced a lot in the past with these things so he wants it problem solved he says uh, doesn't want to deal with it anymore pulling out the tilt lever it just yanks out I find a spot here to set some stuff we're gonna pop the column covers off. We're gonna to get to the three wires coming out of the uh, pass lock sensor here, and then we're just simply gonna bypass it. So the way to fix this properly is to buy the new pass lock sensor. So it's gonna be your whole ignition housing, but nobody wants to do that. And it's an old truck. So this is what we're gonna do. I believe these column covers just pop off. I think we got a screw at the bottom. And then we'll pop them little guys off. So let me get some tools. We'll get these off. Uh, you can elect to use just a fixed resistor and then relearn the security. I'm going to be a little bit lazy. <laughs> We're going to see what the voltage value is coming out of it currently while it's working. And then I bought a variable resistor that we're going to install and just keep turning it until we get the right voltage. And that way we don't have to do the relearn. Well, now that the bottom cover's off, I think we can do everything we need to do here. Let me try to get some light set up here for us. What we'll do, ooh, make sure our blade's sharp. Come through and try to cut as many wires as you can while cutting through the tape. I know, zone seam ripper, blah, blah, blah. But we're just gonna very gingerly come through here. We're gonna open this little guy up. We're gonna get our wires that we need. Should have a sharp razor blade, it would make things easier. As long as it's sharp enough to cut you when you slip, you'll be okay. So we'll open this up. Hey, look at that, there's our little guys we need right there, right on top. That's what we're looking for is the orange with black and old yellow. Yellow belly. I'm gonna open this up just a little bit more. Well, I make it look like Best Buy's been here. Okay, so here's this. Here's our security wires. Security. What we want to know first and foremost, red, red and white we don't care about. That's our 12 volt going up there. We want our ground and our signal wire, which is, our, I don't know which is which. I think our yellow is our signal wire if I, believe, if I remember correctly. And then I believe orange with black stripes are ground. So as long as you guys can see everything, got these little fellas. What I wanna see is what voltage signal is coming down old yellow. So let me go get a meter. We'll tap our ground right here. Doesn't matter that we poked the wire, we're gonna cut it anyways. We're gonna tap into that one. And then we will tap into this little fella. I'm gonna switch everything around here. ground is on the yellow okay so you can see right now we're five five volts say 5.19 now i took and we'll take a turn the key on you'll see it stays at 5.19 what we need to do is remove the starter relay which i did i popped the hood popped out the starter relay so we can hold it in the crank position we can get a good signal on it so we're going to hold it in the crank position and we can see our voltage is 1.76. So that's what we need to achieve is 1.76. And how we're gonna do that is using this little fella right here. So I bought it on the Amazon. It's a zero to 5,000 ohm variable resistor. And you just turn a little screw. And I think we can do it uh, like so. Let me get a couple jump wires here for us. We'll take our meter leads and we're going to hook them onto a couple jump wires so we can piggyback into this thing. I'm going to plug one in there. I'm going to plug one in there. Okay, so we're 5.19 volts. And then off our jumper wires, I just got a couple of alligator clips. And we'll clip them onto our variable resistor here. 
like so. Okay, look at that, it's working. Our meter is now reading 2.79 volts. So I'll see if I can get this where everybody can see it, including myself. Try to do it without tipping it over here, let's see. I'll show you, then we'll just turn that little guy. I think this will work, I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. Okay, we popped up here. Get it where nobody can see and we'll be perfect. Stand by, folks. So where are we at here? We are at, can you guys see? 2.8, we need 1.76. So I'm just gonna take and turn this resistor. We're just gonna keep cranking her. Yeah, turning a lot here. Oops. We're going to crank her back up. 1.76. Whatever that resistance value is should be the correct one. We'll take and unplug these. If you want to know what the resistance value is on this particular truck, we can back back out of here. Go to ohmage. And it is 1.28 kilo ohms. So 1,280 ohms. That's our resistance value. So now we can unhook this, and in theory, falls right in the world, and I think we can cut these wires, solder this little fella in there, or butt connect it, whatever you wanna do, and Robert's your mother's brother. If it doesn't work, make up some excuse. Oh, is it this wire? Or is it this wire? We're gonna go with the yellow. One, two, three. You bought the farm now, fella. So let's take and plug these, plug this right back in here. Let's get our jumpers. Uh, that doesn't work like that, baby. So we'll just plug our jumper leads in here. It doesn't work like that either. You can't put the mail in the mail. Let's get the end of the leads here. So we have the correct anatomy. There we are, so here's the end of our leads. We'll put those in there. Put that in there. And then we hook one end of our resistor there. The other end of our resistor there. So there's our resistor, just as if we, you know, soldered it in, which we didn't yet. Let me go put the starter relay back. Starter relay's back in, and it falls right in the world. It should start with no security light. Let's see if it got no security light. And it runs. Woo -hoo -hoo. That's my celebration noise. Uh, as you can see, no security light. Maybe you can't, but it would be right here. So we can shut the truck off. All right, hooray. There's a lot of different ways you can do this, folks. So on this truck, we were pretty fortunate because the truck still runs most of the time. So we could just get the a known good reading from it, okay? If you didn't have that, that's not a big deal either because you can just, you know, get like a 2000 ohm resistor, stick it in there and do the security relearn with that new value. There's probably a bazillion videos on the World Wide Web on how to do that you can go get a pair of strippers or you can use or you can use what you have in your hand which kind of works these are the old snap-on flush cut side cutters awesome side cutters let me tell you there's that so we'll take and stick that just like so Let's get our resistor hooked up here permanently. <laughs> We're gonna use the crimp and seal connectors for a couple reasons. One, most importantly, they work. And two, it pisses people off. And that's what we like doing. For some reason, people in the comments hate these things. Well, let's see here. The only time I hate him is when I can't see. There we go. 
Give her a little squeeze a little tug of the do. Just make it upwards now. Go calm, we'll calm down with our flame here. We'll shrink them up. That's cool, man. They're cool. Stick them right down with this harness. Grab your classic zip tie. Go like that. Let her lay right down there. We'll reach down as far as we can, down the line. Grab the old light so you can see what you're doing. Make it so you guys can't see crap. And that just lays right with the harness. Take the old flush cuts, trim her down. Bring the light back so everybody can see. Another zip tie right up here. Just like Best Buy. Zip tie them little fellas. Cut them flush. Pull it around. Boom. That's it. We're done. I don't think we can retape this. I don't know if it's 100% necessary to be honest with you. It's not like anything here is going to rub on it. I went ahead and trimmed this wire. That one. And then we've got this one bent. These wires can never touch. Doesn't really matter if they do. And then we're good. That's it. Put your column covers on it. And uh, move on with your life. Why did we take this? Oh, we were going to take the upper covers off. And I discovered we didn't want to break anything. That's the other thing, too, on old truck like this. Gotta be careful. Gotta be careful, fella. All right, we're done. So there you have it, folks, bypassing the uh, security in your old Chevy this is probably works right up to the 07 classics and they switch to a different uh, pass key system uh, so I got these little fellas on the Amazon I'll put a link I think you get five of them or maybe eight I don't know they're quite inexpensive but like I say you don't need to have anything this fancy I just didn't want to relearn the security so that's why I went this route but if yours is broke broke just buy like I say buy like a 2000 ohm resistor stick it in there do the 30 minute relearn procedure which you can find online nice and easy and then you're good to go too but again it does make the truck compromise makes it very easy to steal now but somebody would have to know that it's already been bypassed or you know whatever but I guess if you're a thief figure it out okay and uh, why don't you guys figure out how to go down there and use that comment section. Put it down in a comment. Put down your question. Find us on the Insta, the Facebook. You guys know what to do. And just remember, viewers, if I can do it, you can do it. Thanks for watching.